Many ancient cultures believed east to be the direction of new life. Several temples and monuments were built to face the rising sun. Jewish tradition also revered the cardinal direction. Man's first home, Eden, was situated in the east. The tents used by the tribe of Judah during the desert wanderings were oriented eastward, as was the gate of Solomon's temple. The Psalms tell of God's powerful voice coming from the east and, in a vision, the priest and prophet Ezekiel seized a holy temple filled with the presence of the Lord which entered from an easterly direction. Then he led me to the gate facing east, and there was the glory of the God of Israel coming from the east. His voice was like the roar of many waters, and the earth shone with his glory. Ezekiel 43, 1 and 2 The early Christians also honored the east, as it was from the Mount of Olives to the east of Jerusalem, that Christ ascended. It is also from the east that Christ will return, and from where the angel of the Lord will come at the end time. Then I saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. Revelation 7, 2 These scriptural narratives had a profound influence on Christian tradition and in the direction of Christian worship. A rule in the Apostolic Constitutions, a 4th century ecclesial manual, dictated that churches be built facing east. And first, let the building be long, with its head to the east. Let all rise up with one consent, and looking towards the east, pray to God eastward. Apostolic Constitutions, Book 2, Section 7 It became typical for the floor plans of Western churches, such as San Giorgio Maggiore in Venice, Italy, and the Cologne Cathedral in Germany to resemble a cross facing east. The nave, where the people gather, forms the vertical post of the cross, while the transept is the horizontal beam. The altar is located in the apse, the top of the cross, which is at the eastern end of the church. For over a thousand years, Mass was celebrated with the priest and people both facing east, ad orientum, towards the rising sun. Since the tabernacle was often reserved on the altar itself, facing east also meant that Mass was celebrated towards the Blessed Sacrament. Altars were built directly against the eastern wall of the apse, being that there was no need for space behind it. Intricate altarpieces, called reredos, were constructed typically of wood or stone and embellished with ornate sculptures and exquisite paintings. After the Second Vatican Council, however, it became more common for the priest to celebrate Mass facing the people, or versus populum. In several churches where the altar was against the wall, it was moved forward, allowing the priest to celebrate facing the people. Alternately, if the existing altar was too distant, immovable, or for artistic reasons worth preserving, a second altar was constructed in front of the first. Today, the priest may face east or face the people. The two postures are equally valid, and meaning has been derived from both. When celebrated versus populum, the priest and people gather together as a community, with Jesus at the center. When celebrated ad orientum, the presider leads the pilgrim church towards the risen Christ. <laughs>